What's going on everybody? Today I'm out here in Garibaldi. Look at all that. Look at that beautiful scenery. Today we're out here for clams. Our goal here is to get some soft shell, maybe cockles or maybe butter clams. We'll see what happens. But before we get started, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe and the notification bell. Let's get started. They want to find a hole. So the thing to remember is when you're digging in Garibaldi in these whole terrains, there's a lot of rocks and there's a lot of barnacles on them. So looking for specific clams, it's kind of tough. I found a hole which is about the size of a nickel. Okay, so it's either going to be a blue clam or a butter clam or a soft shell. So we'll see what happens. So you see this hole right here, it's about the size of a you know nickel double. That square, so it could be a blue clam. We're gonna dig a little bit. Now the locals that live out there, they say when they dig for blue clams, you kind of have to really make firm is what they're saying. Now I do see it's not, but man, there's a lot of work for blue clams. They said they usually get about 18 to 'cause I broke the shell. So this is a soft shell. Now normally I do a better job at it, but wow. They weren't kidding. Like for soft shell, it's a lot of work, but let's see, we're gonna try and get some more and uh, get a meal out of it. Alright? We're gonna keep digging. That's good. Alright, we found a big hole. Let's see how my luck today. There's a lot of rock in this area. So it's going to be way more difficult for me. Like this in that side. Watch 
to be a blue clam because uh, I talked to one of the locals here he said when you see some spout like that or the squirt it's usually blue clam like right here so I'm gonna try digging in that spot for a uh, blue clam what did you get right here I just saw her sprout okay it looks like she got her first <laughs> cockles so we're gonna have somewhat of a good deal all right we're gonna light these up later on when we have enough harvest so, Where, where's my bag okay so we were digging so that what happened luck and I uh, strike up a conversation with a retired veteran. Uh, he's with Michigan State. His name is Eric. I'll put the description below. And Eric and also Reagan, who was over there in this other corner, he was digging. So nice, cool, cool little guy. You know, he's really, uh, really awesome to talk to. Uh, so what they've done is they've pretty much dug in certain spots. And they kind of hit that honey hole. And so we're kind of digging along in, in the same path as they are. And we should be able to at least find some good sized ones here. Uh, we've got some enough to really take home and kind of show you guys again. It's really awesome. It takes a lot of digging. So, like I said, uh, thanks to a lot of veterans out there who are really giving up their time and their freedom to the have ours. But yeah, so I'm going to set up uh, Eric's page. I'll put the description and the link below for Mission Continues. And hopefully, I can get a hold of the guys at uh, War Fighters Outfitters and get a hold of them as well to really set them up fun. But yeah, so I'm like, you come right here. So it's really rocky. Uh, and like I said, if you're not going to really try to get an abundance of your harvest and get a good exercise, this would be the area for Garibaldi. Like I said, it's a lot, a lot of work. So, uh, like I said, after digging for a while, we finally got enough of our harvest. So, I'm going to walk you guys over here. So, remember that's uh, 20 per person. So, that's uh, butter clams. It has a really nice shape them. And that's why it has a really nice, like a, like a butter color, right? And have these really small grooves rather than your standard manilas or cockles where they have like ridges that runs all towards the edge of the shell and the lip. These run along the body itself. Nice curves. And so we're going to dig some more and get the rest of our harvest and then uh, head back and do hopefully a little poke polling for some rockfish and eel. So I'm going to head back to digging. All right. So I got another spot I'm going to hit. All right. Let's go get to dig some more. There you go. There's one. Like, so once you start digging up, you'll see them in here. There's another one right here. But yeah, so it's really rocky. You gotta keep oh. digging. That's fun too. <laughs> There's another one right there. So be very careful because they're just right next to each other. Oh, that's oh, a that's a good size. So let's keep that one. We'll probably put this one back there. Oh, that's another one. Yeah, so once you. Get the good 
oversized load, you'll see them here. So okay, I think this place is more. Look at all these ones here. So once you get to a good spot, you'll see it, but you've got to really dig for them. This is a big size too. So these are what you want. These are called butter clams. Remember the limit here in Oregon is 20 per person. So you definitely want to, everybody has to carry their own bag. You know, you don't want to get a fine for that. That's the biggest thing. So take what you need. So we're only getting 20 per person. There's three of us. So my son, myself, my wife. So yeah, so we're getting there close to our quota. Uh, I think we're almost done. So whew, a lot of work today, guys. So yeah, it's fun to come out here and, and like I said, harvesting yet. But like I said, anything else, harvest sustainably. So once you get to a certain spot, you'll see it. Right there, right there, right there. And once you get to that spot, just take your time. It's kind of small. That one is still little neck. Yeah, it's a little neck. Okay, so. Yeah, yeah like I said, you just gotta keep digging on these spots. So once you find it, yeah, you gotta keep digging. And the biggest thing is also you got to remember is that if you do crack a shell, you got to take it with you. You know, it's, it's part of the, um, uh, the requirements here. Once you get your clams, you break a shell, you take it. And the difference is that with the clams here in Oregon, there's no specific size. So as long as you harvest your 20 limit per person, you're good to go. All right, so I'm going to keep digging and then we're going to call it a day. All right. seven inches deep right so if I'm digging all these areas here so now once you get that spot you kind of want to you kind of run the tip of the shovel through and like so you don't have to dig too deep after that so like right there no right there so I got to be careful as I'm see. it's probably not that big but still see like right there 
But there's one here. So you know it's got to be more in these areas. gotta keep digging along these areas because I'll put these aside for now. But yes, what you get? Those are low nights. No, those are low nights, okay. So it's different. That's the difference between low neck and the butter, and right? Butter clean. Because low neck is up the witchy up and down the line. The ridge. The yeah. ridge. And then the, the butter clam has is that the swirl rounds. of the ring that runs along the body. Yes. Whereas the low neck goes all towards the lip. So, once we get them clean, we'll share everybody. Yeah. But yeah, so, like I said, we're only getting 20 per person. And it doesn't matter, uh, low neck or butter clam. Yeah. Except the horse neck. Horse neck, we only allow to keep 12 per yeah. person. Yeah, 12 per person on the horse neck. See, like this one right here, if you come around here, that's a pretty large hole right there. That would be a horse neck. That's gotta be horse neck or what they call the blue clams. They're shaped just like a gaper, and the and the next one is short from what I've heard. So, but like I said, I haven't caught any yet, but or found any. So we just could uh, dig a few more here, and then uh, head out to the next spot.